everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, I hope you've been enjoying all of my videos on the new Cricut Print Thin Cut technology. It is amazing on what this can do. And today, I wanna to show you some new material that Cricut has released exclusively for the Cricut Explore Print Thin Cut. So what we're gonna take a look at today is the brand new printable vinyl. This printable vinyl, as you can see, has been released exclusively for the Cricut Explore. And what it is available is to print, then cut, and then you can put it on a wide variety of different materials. It is repositionable, so I've been able to move it around on my wall, and it doesn't leave any residue behind, so I love it. And what we're going to be doing today for this project is we're gonna be taking this printable vinyl, and we are going to be making our own custom cell phone backings. That's right. We're going to go ahead and go to a website called collage.com. You're going to import some of your favorite photos. In this case, I used my dogs. And we're going to go ahead and make a collage. And I'll show you how to do that. And then you're going to save this collage to your desktop. Now we're going to import that collage into Cricut Design Space and then you're gonna to need to find a template for your phone. In my case, I have the iPhone 5S, and I do have that template, and I have some sources maybe for you for the other templates, and I will have those available for you. And with these templates, we're going to be able to print our collage and then cut it. And using this printable vinyl, we're gonna be able to just peel the back, put it on our phone. Now I also have a protective cover for mine, so that way it just kind of protects it. So for this project, um, in the future when you make it, you will want the Cricut printable vinyl. You will absolutely want to get a protective cover if you want to make sure your uh, new masterpiece is covered. And then of course you're gonna need a phone to put your your, your cover on so um, anyways let's go ahead first thing we need to do is you need to find your favorite photos and you need to get those ready to go and then we're gonna go ahead and head over to collage.com to make our collage so that's where our, we're gonna go next alright let's go ahead and do that so the first thing you're gonna do to design your custom phone case with your own pictures is to go to www.collage.com you're gonna go ahead and hit the start your collage. Now the screen that you are normally going to see is this screen right here, which is going to ask you, do you want to upload some photos? So you can either go ahead and upload from your computer, you can upload Facebook, you can do an internet search, Instagram, or Flickr. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and upload from my computer. I'm going to go ahead and choose the pictures I would like. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK at the bottom. And it's going to go ahead and automatically bring in all of those pictures that I've chosen and bring them in to my project down here. And you're going to see them all independently upload right down here. Now it's automatically going to put a blue check mark on it and that means it's going to bring them into the project. If I did not want one of these pictures to be brought into the project, I could just go ahead and select it and it would actually not bring that picture into the project. But in this case, I want all of these pictures to be on my phone case, so I'm gonna make sure they have blue check marks on them and hit continue. At this time, it's gonna bring them all into the project and it always defaults to a, blank, a fleece blanket. So up here it says fleece blanket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that because we're not making a fleece blanket. So we need to change that first. So we're going to come up here to this little drop down box and you're going to see cases. And when you click that, all these phone cases are going to come up. Now it's going to say a price. Don't worry about that right now. We're not worried about that. So just choose the phone you have and it will automatically come up with that template. Now at this point, if you loved it and you said, woohoo, I love it, you could hit continue. But I want to show you these other features you have here. So you have content, layout, and effects. Content, this is where you go to add more photos. You forgot a photo. You can add a title. So if I wanted to, at the bottom of my phone, I could sit there and say, Ken's creation. 
and that would actually put that at the bottom of my phone, just like that, and print it. So if I liked that, I could then just leave that there, just like that. And so then I have a nice Ken's creation at the bottom of my phone. The other thing you have here is background, which will actually change the background behind your photos to something different. So if you wanted, you know, kind of a fun look behind your photos instead of the plain white, you could do kind of something fun and print it out. So if you wanted to do like this holiday look or if you're doing something kind of cool and you wanted to do something besides um, white or in this case, side to side, you could do that. Now in my case, we're gonna do the white and the reason why is because of the layout. Now in layout, you have freeform mode, stretch to edge, and shuffle photos. Stretch to edge is going to go ahead and take your photos and stretch them all the way to the edge. And that's why I don't have a different color background because I don't want any, I want my photos to be stretched to the edge. Now the other thing here is I have shuffle photos or freeform mode. Shuffle photos is just that. You can keep hitting this and it's going to shuffle your photos until you find a fit that you like. Now iPhones can be tricky because you have this little part where your camera is, so you have to find a photo that's not going to block out certain parts of the photo. And in my case, it's going to block out something because I have dogs and stuff. Actually, that last one wasn't too bad. It just blocks out one of his eyes. Poor little eye, but maybe I can move it. I don't know. Um, so the other thing you have is freeform mode. Freeform mode is where you actually can move your photos and do it however you want. Um, but I'm gonna go back to shuffle mode because that's what I really like. I'm gonna turn off my freeform mode and shuffle. So here it is. Um, if you turn off your freeform mode, you need to make sure you turn your stretch to edge back on and keep hitting that shuffle button until you find a spot that you like again. And that doesn't look too bad. Actually, I think I'll leave it just like that. Now, you have a couple more options here. You have effects and thin border. Effects just changes it from black and white to sepia to daydream, twilight, all that good jazz. I don't want that, I just want colored. And then we have one of my other favorite features, which is the border feature. Right now, as you can see in between my borders, there is these little tiny white lines. Now, I don't want those because it can tell that there's a division. So I can actually go here and hit no border and it will meld my photos together. Now, this one here, you're probably saying, well, there's still white lines. That's because that photo was a collage. I did that as a collage before importing this photo in. So that's why there is white lines there. So those white lines were not um, part of this program. Now, that's all of the features. So at this point, I love this. I'm ready to go. I want to print it and use it. Um, I'm not wild about my title down here. Um, however, um, it is what it is and I'm not going to mess around with it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue at this point. Now, at this point, you could share it to a social media. You could pay $39.99 and have them print it on an actual case for you and send it. But why do that when we have a Cricut Explorer and we can print this on um, printable adhesive. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this to our computer. Now at this point, if you do not have an account with collage.com, you will have to set one up. Um, it's free, does not cost anything. If you already have an account with them, you want to sign in. Um, I'm going to hit returning and hit login and you're going to go ahead and see your download download to your computer. And you just saw mine download. Once it is done downloading, which you'll see right there, we're gonna go and click and drag it onto my desktop. So I can go ahead and click and drag that onto my desktop. There it is. And then I'm just gonna minimize it to show you here what it looks like. There it is. So now what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and import this photo into Design Space with this PNG file of the back case of the iPhone. 
and then I'm going to show you how to print it on that printable final. So let's do that. All right, everyone, now comes the easy part. You want to go ahead and make sure you are logged in to Design Space by making sure you click on your little green guy here, log in using your Cricut.com account, and put in your passcode. Um, and the reason why is we're going to be uploading an image and you need to be logged in to do that. Now, once you've done this, we are going to be uploading a basic upload because that file we saved was a JPEG file. We're going to hit continue to step one. We're going to browse our computer and there is that image I saved to my desktop from collage.com. You're going to see it pop up right there. It's so adorable. It's a complex image. I'm going to hit continue to step two. I don't need to do anything to this image because I do want it to just be around it. And I'm going to hit go ahead and hit continue to step three. I want to go ahead and hit save image in this case. And the next thing we need to do is we need to upload our phone case. Now I've provided you some templates on my blog which you can get to that link underneath this video or by clicking the link on your screen and that will take you to my blog where I have links to different templates for the phone or you can simply google search um, the different templates for your phone. Uh, but I have an iPhone 5S and I found a PNG file, so I'm going to look at that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the back of the template of the 5S, which is right there. Once again, it's a complex image. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue to step three, save image, and both of them have now been saved to my uploaded images. Once I get to this screen, I can go ahead and put check marks on both of them and they will both be brought into my design space and they will be layered on top of each other. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is set up correctly and this is where it want to make sure this is done correctly like I said. So First thing we want to do is right here, This, these are both brought in as print then cuts. The iPhone case, which is below this, first thing we, we need to do is highlight that one. So it's this one right here, it's the, the bottom one here. So make sure it's gray and we want to unflatten that because we don't want that to be a print then cut. We want that to actually give us the options to make that a cut. In order to do that, we have to unflatten that image. Now we can go ahead and click on this little icon and, um, oh, it didn't unflatten. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and unflatten it. Now it did. Now we can click on the little box and hit cut instead of print. And now we have a cut. Now what we want to make sure is we want to bring it forward so it still has a box around it. I'm going to right click and hit move to front. And now you're going to see that it was brought forward. As you can see there, there's the little case. Now without moving anything, I'm gonna draw a box around everything because it's positioned perfectly at this point. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit attach. And that's going to attach my uh, my printed image with that phone case image. Now I need to size this correctly because obviously I want this to print at the appropriate size and cut at the appropriate size. So I've looked up the different sizes for an iPhone by just going to an apple.com and looking at the iPhone 5S specs. And it tells me right here that the height is 4.87 inches right there and the width is 2.31 so I can actually go in here and hit my edit and s turn off this little lock feature and now I can say my height going back here I can say my height is 4.87 and my width was 2.31 And there is my iPhone case. So I am ready to go. I can actually hit go now. 
It's going to go ahead and do everything for me. It's going to put my registration marks on the uh, mat ready to go. It's going to position everything and there you go. As you can see, there is my thing ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and print this. Now I'm going to be printing this on that printable vinyl. So we're going to hit print and continue. There we go. And I'm on the Epson Artisan US. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit print. And then I will show you how this cuts. Now make sure when we do this, I'm going to show you something here. When we are ready to cut this in the material settings, there is a new drop down menu. And in the new drop down menu, there is a new option for printable vinyl. So you're going to want to make sure you set your dial to custom and choose printable vinyl when cutting this. So once again, when we're ready to do this and we load our mat, we we'll want to go into custom and choose printable vinyl. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this ready to cut. So there is the printed out phone cover right there. So, and here's my phone. I have my case right here ready to go. So we are ready to go. All we need to do now is peel up our vinyl. Since we've measured it all out, it should easily just go perfect fit right on the back of our phone. And what's great about this vinyl is if it doesn't fit, you can just peel it up. And then, like I said in the beginning, I always put a nice case on it, which I will do that here in one sec. But I want to show you the final picture here, my final closing marks. But there it is. Nice and easy. That printable vinyl couldn't work any better for you guys. So real simple project to put on the back of your phone. So everyone, that was an easy, easy project. And look at the results. How amazing is that? A custom phone cover. I love it. And then all you need to do is get a nice protective cover, slide it on, and you have a nice film over it to protect it. So that way, it doesn't, you know, get scratched up or, or anything. So I get so many compliments. I've, I've done this now. I've had one. Um, I've done this a couple of times using other machines. So I'm so excited I can do this on the Cricut Explorer and it did a beautiful job. And the fact that Cricut has the printable vinyl makes it that much better because um, I get so many compliments on these custom made uh, phone covers. And it's absolutely amazing that we can do these ourselves now with the Cricut Explorer and it's so cheap. So make sure you guys check out the printable vinyl. You can get this over at Cricut.com when uh, the print then cut releases. So you want to make sure you check out my website to get it. You can get it at Cricut.com. Um, so make sure you're checking out my blog. You can find my blog over at www.creativeken dot blogspot dot com now make sure you guys are checking out and subscribing to this youtube channel i'm going to be doing some more cricut print and cut videos including a silhouette cameo versus cricut explorer where i put these machines head to head to see who comes out top with the print then cut and i'm really excited for that video i also have another project video coming up with another uh, new Cricut product exclusively for the Cricut Print Then Cut. So I'm really excited to show you guys that as well. So make sure you're subscribing to that YouTube channel. Also make sure you guys are checking out my Twitter page, my Pinterest page, my Facebook page, my Instagram page. Um, I also sell close to my heart products so make sure you're checking out that. Pretty much anywhere you can find me on the internet I would love for you to check me out and also follow me there. So all right, I hope you guys are loving this Cricut Print and Cut as much as I am. This is opening up so much more new possibilities, new projects, new ideas, and I'm loving 
every single minute of it. So get in your craft rooms, get creative, get your Cricut Explorers, and get your print then cut ready to go and go out there and create something magical. All right, everyone, I adore every single one of you. Thank you so much. Have an amazing, beautiful day.